everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into episodes 21 through 23 of Revolutionary Girl Utena. As you all know, I love this show, and I'm really excited to see how the Black Rose Saga concludes, and how we kind of start to really transition... It feels weird to say into the end game, but at least kind of creep in that direction um, as obviously next set onward. We're going to be starting to creep a little towards the end. And that's going to be really interesting to explore. So really excited. But anyways, I'm definitely looking forward to where this show is going and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm... I'm really curious, like, what comes next? Uh, we've already, we even did Wakaba. So where does the Mikage Seminar, the Circle of the Black Rose, where do they strike next? Do we finally get them directly involving themselves and, and directly confronting Tenjo? Or are there other people to manipulate and uh, get in that therapy box and fuck fuck with and and like is there more people that make logical sense with connections to the uh the council members that you know fit the bill it feels like in the last set we kind of wrapped that up now i could be completely wrong i probably am but I, I wakaba was kind of like my bo final boss for this like phase and I actually was right. They actually did Wakaba, and now it's like, what now? Like, they even gave that whole Wakaba segment two episodes, which I think further emphasized the importance of it. Those episodes were tremendous, by the way. Love the last set. Oh, I have a weird, like, almost strain in my voice. So this is going to be interesting because this is, uh, yeah, hopefully this goes well. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for more Utena. I, I will say that this is probably my favorite show going right now on the channel. And yeah, I think it's going to go down as one of my favorite anime of all time, honestly. Like the way it's trending. We still have a lot of go. I think this is going to be a tough show to fully stick the landing. I, I'm confident they will. But I definitely think because I am I just have no clue where it's going, I think that kind of makes me a little more concerned about where it's going but given the quality of, of of the story and just the brilliance of the show all around I definitely think I feel pretty comfortable in knowing that this is probably going to go in pl places that I really am going to enjoy a lot obviously this series has only gotten more and more Evangelion-esque and it is kind of Probably, honestly, the first true post-Ava, like, fucking fuckfest. Um, so, you know. That appeals to me. Let it, let's just leave it at that. Um, I'm really curious, though, what we're going to get up to. I, I don't have a clue, honestly. Like I said... Oops. That... Okay. We should be fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm really excited just to to get into this and, and, and find out what actually comes next. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump in to episode 21 of Revolutionary Girl Utsuna in 3, 2, 1, and play. And here's this OP that I love so much. It's a long, long time. Take my revolution. I have the slightest signs of a, of a, of a headache or a migraine. Like just the tiniest fragments. Which is probably not a good sign given this show is a mindfuck most of the time. Revolution. 
Sayanji is back at the school too, which could trigger whatever is going to happen in the coming episodes. I, we could be getting like Toga stuff in this set as well. But something tells me they're gonna wait a little longer before we really get back to pushing Toga. Like maybe next video, but like, I don't know. Okay, starting with Nanami. Maybe this is gonna be Toga stuff. She seems very serious. The girl with binoculars behind her? I mean, I'm here for another Nanami episode. This has a, a, a serious tro troublesome insects. Okay. Interesting. Oh, is she gonna be like? Is she gonna kind of distance herself from her friends? Interesting. Yep. Bro, bro. The last thing I needed. And of course, they, they, they wanted to like her even more because of, because they're simps. Wow. They became simps real fast. What the fuck? They're bonding over their... This is so weird. The Chosen, huh? Also Pocky, which is goaded. A bit of an anime cliche, but is goaded. Are we still in the flashbacks? No, okay, now we're back in the present. That's why the little graphic disappeared at the, at the bottom left, the, the, the Nanami colored flower. Yeah, she ain't doing that. Yeah, she's either making her slave girls do it, or she's making Suobuki do it. Yeah, the fact that she wants to get fucking hyped by her brother. Yes, that is very... Those are so moving. Jesus Christ, girls. Do not encourage her. <laughs> God, Jury is so fabulous. I mean, to be fair, if she could... If she could get... Hey! Wow. We're really emphasizing... Wow, we're really emphasizing that every relevant character is gonna be at this party. Is there any way that Toga actually becomes under the spell? It's gonna be this rando girl, really. Huh. They're building it up. Interesting. That's it somehow all three, but... Why are you wearing... Are, is anyone going to comment on the roller skates? Damn, she's got the... She looking... She got the... She's showing off for her brother. I like the gloves a lot, actually. The black gloves with the little accent of yellow on the end. Damn. Holy shit. Mm. Yeah, interesting that they're building this character up for, uh, like I said, she's definitely getting rose-pilled.
Oh, I like that. The moving like background with the stable Zito. foreground while she walks. Zito. Zito. I guess it also kind of mirrors what we did last because it was the Sayanji simping. Now it's on to the Toga simping. Is the princess, yeah. Whoa. That's a big archive, Jesus Christ. I get o Otori Academy's big, also Utena over there, and just... The fuck is Utena looking at? Bro, how big is bro's cock? Like, what the fuck was that? No, seriously. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Um. Hmm. Was it troublesome insects? Demo, I cover as Gakuen, you are Sugato, Miss Emma Senkedo, eh? Kai Chonga Sono Joshija, Tai Hendonese to Kaimo, Hara, Oni Samano Kotoga, so Nani Kinina. Damn, Gosokoso, Oni Samano Kotoni Sagrio, Iretarish. Damn, Yarashi, Baka, yeah, Darama Sona. Oh, my God, they just pop up. Nya nya nya! What the fuck? Nya! <laughs> was so cute! I wasn't ready for that last one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you did want anyone, everyone who was anyone. Damn. 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 Ah, they're the vermin, huh? The troublesome insects. Honestly, she kind of is. What the f bro? That's like the most embarrassed you've seemed in the whole show, Hanthi. Ew? Wow. Bro about to explode? Or die. Well, that's the end of Choo Choo. I'm never gonna... Pleiades, huh? Wait, really? Pleiades is known as Subaru in Japan? I actually didn't know that at all. Uh, yeah, that's really weird and concerning. And there he is with his big ass, deep ass voice. Oh, yeah. This... Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a suave motherfucker. Now we're gonna get the uh, Brocon Siscon action. Again? Is she gonna take off her... Oh, glass? I don't like the way that that shot. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. It also... I mean, they, they could get to it still, but it, at the pacing of this episode, it does not feel like... Well... We're actually a little under halfway, so maybe we will still get a duel. But I was going to say, the way this is being paced, we might not get a duel. But, yeah, they're probably going to get around to it. A white flower, huh? Interesting. What I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You get rejected? Oh, shit. That, that was weirdly intimidating. 
Also, seeing that outfit, I know this was before, but I can't help but think of, I want to say Taya. I like, oh my god, of course, there's, there's Sis. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Nanami out here about to murder a bitch. Where is Nanami the... Wait, what the fuck? Nanami went Black Rose? Or... Where is this going? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. どうしてですか、ナナミ様。yeah, you don't touch my damn brother. Jesus Christ. Mm. So rude. Fucking hell, Nanami. You have issues. To be fair. Well, she didn't say anything crazy like that. When Utena lost Anti, she wasn't much better. Ah, uh, let me guess. Nanami's already... Already pilled her on... Nanami's already pilled them. Yeah, that you're fucked. Whoa! Bro, that's so much worse. Oh god. This actually is like I'm becoming a minor headache. It's it's fine until I start talking and then it Yeah. So my only question is, I'm assuming she's gonna pull the sword out of Nanami. But I guess hypothetically it could be out of Oh shit, yep, yep, I hear the elevator. Yes! So fucking weird to say. I wanted what she had. Mm -hmm. Yep. Something of a transactional relationship. Because she's a bitch, yeah, we're... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm half surprised you didn't just say it. Hmm. She certainly tries, but I don't know if it works. Let's not forget how much of a player Toga was prior to what happened. Yep. I definitely didn't see this shit coming. Wouldn't have guessed that one of Nanami's um, slave girls would actually be a potato. She is gonna get it from Toga. Holy shit. What the fuck? That is so sussy. Yeah, I was gonna say, because that's the thing, we've already pulled the sword from Nanami, but Toga's sword... Oh, why is everyone a fucking psychopath in this series? Kinky, though. That, that was, uh, pretty kinky. This should be interesting, because... Because Togo beat Utena because of a trick, so if there's no trick to play, will she beat Togo? I'm assuming she'll be able to beat the Toga surrogate here. 
This metaphor is interesting given the uh, the, the metaphor that's used uh, in the uh, in the elevator with the caterpillar butterfly leaf thing on the wall. <laughs> Every time, Utsuna with that zinger one-liner. I love that longer build-up compared to the version of this that they used in the uh, first start. I honestly think this might be the song I've heard the most in any anime. I mean, I guess I've heard the OP just as much in the ED, but like, it is what I meant like in an actual show. Like, I can't remember a lyrical song that plays more in a show than this one. Because this does play, not every episode, but it plays in a lot of the episodes. More than half, I would say. Still so curious about the castle and like, what's wild is in this arc, we really haven't gotten any answers about the story. Like, all they did was really introduce like a third party, but we really haven't learned much of anything. Like, there's been teases of, 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 of stuff, but it is kind of wild how we still have no clue what the fuck's going on in this story. The umbrella, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like I should be trying to predict. I feel like I should be trying- oh, that's, that actually looks pretty good, that brown. Um, I feel like- yeah, you don't even know her name, do you? Alright, let's see what this song is about. Well, this one sounds really old school. This song. Very classical. Oh, that's English. Okay. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is one of those that really had nothing to do with you tonight at all. Yeah, you're trying to kill Nanami, not Ampi. Nice. Interesting. I will say, this is one of the strangest songs. I mean, they're all a bit out there, but this one... That one I didn't really follow as well as the others and the symbolic meanings. Yep, yep, that was the joke. It's like literally just someone that you've seen in the background. Yep. Yep. So is she gonna be the last one? Cause... Yeah, like what else is there? Now you've... Wow. Wow. Of course you would like that. 
私なんかがトーガ様をお慕いするなんてことできるはずないじゃないですか。Interesting. あなたの身のほどを考えたら当然よね。これからもずっと私のそばにいてね、ケイコさん。Yeah, back to being, back to being Nanami's other slave simp. It's creepy that Auntie's smiling right now. I guess she understands. Yes. Yes. Yep, and Yuko, yep. It is kind of interesting, though, how, like, the rewrite that happens after. Oh! So weird to hear that. Of course, you're the one that says that, Auntie. Oh, God. I'm gonna listen to this song for a little while. I might try laying down for a few minutes, though, after、um, we wrap this up, because it's not like a, a splitting headache, but it is irritating. That's such an Avon g e l l i o n line, too. That's, that's really funny. In truth and forever, kiss in love and true your heart. Wanna keep on hating lies, huh? Episode 21 of Utena, and I have to say that was a really interesting one because we used a character that I didn't, I wouldn't have predicted in a million years would be.、Um, like I said, this arc does this really cool thing where it brings these side characters who haven't had much focus into the fold. And gives them a role and basically gives them their own episode, right?、Uh, to varying degrees, right? Like Suabuki had an episode.、Um, what's her name?、Um, uh, fuck, I actually don't have her name written down. I was gonna say、uh, Jury's Potato,、uh, or do I? Shiori, Shiori, yeah, yeah, Shiori. Is someone who we hadn't even met prior to that episode, but we obviously had seen what she looked like, and she was. Jury's episode was centered around this character and her relationship with、uh, Shiori that、um, fell apart and that whole deal.、Um, so it was a character that, while we hadn't met her, there was buildup for her.、Um, you had,、uh, you know, this girl who we just met, of course,、um, Kanai. Uh, Kanae, uh, Akio's、uh, soon to be wife. You had、uh, Suabuki, of course, who's had you know, his sus with Nanami. You had obviously Wakaba, who's the most notable one, being Utena's best friend. And now us getting、um, this episode where you, know, you get one of Nanami's simps. And it's really interesting because. The, even among the side characters, there's been different levels to how relevant they are. And it is really interesting because they are establishing、uh, this whole nature. But the problem now lies with the fact that, if I'm not mistaken, we have taken a sword from. Oh, I didn't even mention、um, fucking Kozue,、uh, fucking Mickey's sister, of course, which, Jesus Christ, let's not talk about that episode again. But the point is, is we've taken a sword from.、Um, well, they did Kanai, who, you know, she. This was before they started using the student council members, you know, to pull the swords out of them, right? But we used Mickey, we've used Jury, we've used Nanami, we've used.、Um, yeah, Mickey, Jury, Nanami. 
Um, you know, we've done, like, Sionji. We've done, like, um, fucking uh, Toga, right? Like, we've done everyone. And, like, it wouldn't make sense that the sword would be pulled out of Utna. That doesn't make sense. I... So, like, yeah, now I feel like direct challenge, it's gotta be, right? Like, we get uh, a direct challenge from either um, Soji or uh, Mamiya. Like, I don't know what else it could be. Could be wrong, but I feel like this had to be the last person to challenge Utena of, like, this arc of using the swords of the council members because there's no more council members literally no more council members now i mean again there is utana who you know is like council adjacent but um obviously because that's the person they're trying to beat i don't think that necessarily makes any sense so i have no idea i think we're kind of in the dark now it's kind of like when we when we jumped into this arc after having gone through the student council saga and it was kind of like okay what are they going to do from here now that we've kind of concluded the status quo of Utena going through all the council members and in a weird way she's kind of doing it again and again she just beat toga essentially 2.0 so she's once again made it through all the council members so we're once again in that area where we've now concluded our status quo again so now where do we go from here i have no idea and um i'd love to talk about this episode for maybe a couple more minutes but honestly uh yeah i need to lay down for a few i think so uh i will see you guys very soon and we will jump into episode 22 of utina all righty i uh Obviously had my little headache. It was bothering me. I laid down. I actually ended up going to sleep. Now it's nearly 7 in the morning. So it's about, I don't know, 8 hours later or so from when I recorded the last episode. And here we are. So let's get back to it. Uh, that's, my hair is a little fucked up. You know, I wetted it down a little, but obviously, you know, haven't taken a shower or brushed it or combed it or anything like that. So... You know, classic uh, shark, uh, early morning, fucked up hair. Gotta love to see it. And I'm really excited, and I feel fine, so I'm looking forward to this. So let's jump in to episode 22 of Utena in 3, 2, 1, and play. Just a long, long time. Take my revolution. So curious where we're gonna go from here, though, like I said, because we've covered every student council member now. Again. Oh. I will say I really love the way that this um, OP is animated. Really well animated. And just in general looks awesome. Still curious about what this means though. Like I said, I, whatever it is, I'm assuming it's final art stuff. Because all the other stuff in the OP is kind of happening. Uh, I'm assuming that's referring to the end of the first arc, but that could be referring to stuff closer to the end. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Akio saying hi. Last of the Black Roses. Okay. Nemaru Memorial Hall, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I guess Mami is not going to fight because Mami, they want to make Mami into the Black Rose. They're trying to kill her, yep. 
言うまでもなく学内の治安を守るのは自治会代表でもある僕たち生徒会執行部の役目ですから本当一体何者なのよ一般生徒を操って次々に天井打てなと決闘させてるのはいやだって友達やトウガまでもが狙われたからさすがに何でもよく知ってるわねでもそれだけの情報網があるなら早くやつらの正体も突き止めてほしいわがかりはあるよバラの刻印は世界の果てに選ばれた者だけが所有しているはずじゃあ影で動いているのは世界の果てそのものなんでしょうかさあね No, it's more like end of the world is letting this happen That's really interesting The fucking train thing there Huh. Don't know what exactly that was supposed to symbolize. Oh no. Oh no. Tak, doko c h a t o n d o r o I have no idea. Is that m Yeah, it is. Oh boy, there he is. A direct meeting between Tenjo and. Sweet, my son. Quit to Nanika m a k k a m a s t a Yeah. 台所に仕掛けてあったネズミ捕りに引っかかって泣いてたんです。ネズミ捕り？あ、ah,、ネズミ、や、オケマウスや。天井。Interesting。どうして僕の名前を？はじめまして。あなたには以前から興味を持ってたんですよ。僕は後頭部の見影掃除です。見影ってじゃああの見影ゼミを主催してる天才の。And immediately she gets slightly suspicious. Yep. Oh, interesting. I mean, that is, that is a good way to pitch. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. She definitely has that. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. Interesting. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. I mean, that is a good way to pitch. Nemuro Kinenka. You have Nezuru and then you have Nemuro. That's interesting that, it, that, that, that those sound so similar. A mouse caught in a trap? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's interesting. Nemuro was a professor. Interesting. Demo. Oh, yeah. It's not like you keep all the bodies in the basement or anything. Akio san! I don't know. Can't find Akio either. Not getting any advice today. I do wonder if Akio is going to be the ultimate villain of this series, though. He is really. Just kind of been here. He's just, just kind of chilling this arc. Antaka. Akio? Antaka was a very good one. I was a very good one. I was a very good one. What the fuck does that mean? Stop being vague! Spent her contract ever since that time, huh? What? He's fucking. He's not a mortal, but like. それは承知で学園と契約したんだろう、yeah. だけど隣のセクションの研究内容もわからないなんて噂では世界を革命する力であるとか of course. 永遠を手に入れるための研究であるとか言われてますね、uh -huh. Eternity, huh? ヒントだけでも教えてもらえませんか Given this 僕だって噂以外のことは知らないそれ以上に興味もないけどねところで前から疑問に思ってたんだけど何です
君たちがみんな左の薬指にしているその指輪は何だい特に意味はありません最近流行ってるんですよ、うん、天才根室教授か本当に彼は今回の内容を知らないんだそのようだだが彼の頭脳はあの方がおっしゃっていた論文は面白いけど本人は乾いているな、うん、物事に執着しない様子を気取ってるのは青い気取らせとけばいいさ電子計算機みたいな男だせいぜい利用すればいい Interesting. 当時確かに僕は電子計算機のような男だった What changed? 計算機は優れた機械だが機械には目的がない乾いた僕も乾いた毎日そしてあの頃研究内容に興味がなかったのも本当だ成り行きで携わったあれが進まないのも僕にはどうでもいいことだった、うん、研究主任の根室教授ですね私は理事会より派遣されました今回の監察官を務めます Interesting ですよろしく Tokiko Chira This is really interesting Like it's interesting to get like Why are we emphasizing the cat? The fuck? What? 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 Well, that makes sense why we're emphasizing that, but. Huh. That, what the fuck? Now there's two cats. The fact that the show is telling us is very sus. That's the Interesting. 100人の優秀な少年たちが大鳥学園に集められこれに従事している彼らはこの研究目的が世界を革命する力だとか永遠を手に入れるためのものだと噂している<笑>永遠を手に入れようなんて永遠の力からくりを作り出そうとするようなものだ maybe... 人はもっと謙虚に maybe you're not that far off 神様が与えてくれるものに感謝してればいいんです interesting Interesting that you believe in God too. You don't seem like the type. Mamiya, I was waiting for a Mamiya. I was waiting. Yeah, I was wondering. Mamiya seems younger than you. Mm -hmm. You gazed upon Mamiya and you were. You're, you're, you, you, you activated, you had a neuron activation, bro? Mm. Mm. あなたの論文を読んだんです僕は姉さん以外に尊敬した人はあなたに初めてです姉さんはあなたに会うために大鳥学園に来たんです Fair enough Interesting Okay so yeah it, it seems like we're getting all this backstory this episode We're probably gonna get the duel with Ooh, with uh, Mikage next episode, and then, um, and in the process, maybe some sus. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. With the looks and that. That's kind of a weird thing to say. So he was sick. Makes sense. Mmm. あれは医学とは関係ありませんよ。成功しても弟さんの病が治るわけじゃない。でも永遠を手に入れてやれるかも。
I understand the reason why someone would fight for that. Yeah. Nope. それとも天才と呼ばれるような人は他人を好きになったりすることはないのかしら。あの方のやることには無駄がないね。じゃあ、教授は結局こいつの内容は知らないのか。Interesting。寝てなくていいのかい。ええ。今日は少し。This is everything Hmm. Uh, relates a little too uh, a little too close to home there. Mm. Yeah, it's not that close. Mm. I love it. Interesting. Interesting. That's not something you should be doing, in your opinion. Ah. Uh, it's really weird how they're telling us where to look in the background. That's like, I can't say I've ever seen that before. Ah, uh, the lip same again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 こんなことを実行できるものか。それはみんなが褒めてる指輪じゃないか。バラの刻印。いや。僕との契約の証だ。ああ、そう。あ、コントラクトメイドウィズユー、ハー。少年たちは皆僕と契約している。どうかしてる
Yeah, I think it's somewhat of a misunderstanding that you're doing this of Akio's. ただの契約していたんだ。はあ。古代の生物が死んで、石油や石炭のような地下燃料が残った。そういう犠牲がなかった。ジーゼスファッキングクライス。何を言ってるの?What so really like a ritual sacrifice then? マミヤ君もやったことは正しい。ホリシェ。僕も永遠をこの手にしてみたくなった。ホリシェ。ワオ。ダッツクレイジー。そうマミヤズ。ダッツザ or like, sorry, how how long ago the fire was? So I'm assuming like seven-ish years, maybe? I don't know. And then uh, Mikage, of course, oh. You recognize him. Oh, it's been longer than that. She's a bit older than that, I think. Oh shit, she's the Utana! This episode. Robot, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I did catch that symbolism that they were calling him a robot and then he ended up becoming like... I'll say ageless, because obvi obviously he's not immortal. Mm. Oh my god, the music. Damn. Ah, uh, you're going to see Akio then? Yep. Kimiko, or you going to be the next swordswoman? Are you the next challenger for Utsuna? いいか。正体不明の奴らの言いなりになることはないんだ。でも仕方ありません。私はバラの花嫁ですから。バカ。Ah, uh, oh my god! They, I just made the comment, she's Utena, they were using her in that role. ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ!ハーッ
It's literally his own memorial hall, by the way. Truth and forever, kiss and love and true your heart. I'm really fucking excited for next episode, man. I can't wait to see where this goes because, like I said, now I'm not even sure who the duelist is. Like, is the duelist going to be um, Soji? Is it going to be... Um, I already forgot her name because I didn't write it down. Probably should have. But uh, the uh, Mamiya's sister. Like, both of those, I feel like, legitimate possibilities... And I really don't have a read on this, but I will say that was such a, that was such a cool episode because for one, that episode felt like the first episode in a while where it actually felt like we were starting to get answers. Like at least as it pertains to, um, Mamiya and Soji, which is a start, right? Like it's nice to at least get answers with this Black Rose stuff before, we start to get answers on Akio and uh, the, the end of the world because obviously we really know nothing about the end of the world compared to what we knew at the end of the last arc. Like, we haven't learned anything about the end of the world. Like, Akio's around, and that's something, but really, nobody knows. And we've learned that the, the Rose Crest is representative of a contract between the bear and Akio, which seems to imply then that Akio was the prince that saved Utena. I don't know if that's true because we've obviously seen the stuff with Utena and uh, Sayanji and Toga, and Utena had confused Toga for it. However, in the in the um, in the <clears throat> In the, not the flashback, but like the fairy tale kind of thing where it talks about Utena's backstory. Um, it's always portrayed the prince as a man with very light hair and fairly dark skin. Which the only two characters that seem to fill that kind of vibe are Akio and the, you know, the, the prince in the castle, right? That... The, the, the latter being the direct representation, but I've always, I've never thought that it, you know, for a long time, I have not thought that it was actually him. So there's a very good chance that Akio saved Utsuna, and depending on the timeline, it's very possible that Akio showed up in on the same day that Sayanji and, um, uh, that Sayanji and Toga showed up. So after they left, and before they came back type deal, that's when uh, the boy showed up and saved her and inspired her to do that. And that would fucking, ex oh my god, that would explain the ED. Because again, it's like symbolic when we see the ED and it's that, it's the prince that, you know, that like, you know, not possesses Utena, but like guides her in the duels. But in the ED, you see the two pairs, you have the prince and Utena, and you have the prince and Anthe, but that does make me wonder if that's really Akio, because obviously Akio had, you know, saved Utena in this hypothetical, literally is like Anthe's big brother, and also seems to be getting freaky with her, and there's like these connections, and it's literally the prince that Utena has been looking for, so like that that is, like, creepy and disturbing, and, like, you want to talk about the setup for, like, a three-person relationship. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know. And I might be, like, completely off, but obviously... 
I like part of me almost wonders if like uh if like the spirit is almost like Akio's like better half and like Akio's like the worse half of like almost the same person somehow because they do mention the fact he hasn't aged a day so he's another one that seems uh to kind of almost transcend to some extent even though that's what they're searching for in the first place supposedly attaining eternity uh but obviously he hit us with that weird line about how if you don't leave school you won't age because you know won't become adults and like that whole like also referred to it as a garden, you know, like garden symbolism, again, the Garden of Eden, but also, again, the Rose Garden, like, like, it's very, it's very interesting how everything in this show manages to tie together. I talk about this sometimes when I watch shows, how shows can be very thematic. This show is so stupidly thematic, it's almost, it almost is annoying. Um, I'm here for it, it's fucking great, but it's, it actually feels kind of ridiculous at times, but, um... Yeah, that was a great episode of Utena, and I'm, like, really excited for this, because much like with the last set, where we had kind of a standalone and then a two-parter, it's pretty much the same thing here, where we had a standalone, and now we're getting another two-parter, and I'm really excited to see how this uh, continues, because that was a great episode of Utena, and I'm really thrilled to see what comes next, because, um, yeah, it's really a matter of, like, is... Is Mikage going to directly challenge Tenjo to a duel, or are we getting into something else? Because that's the thing. He was also trying to recruit her, and, like, I don't even know, like, if if, if that's just to try and, like, get out her darkness, you know, and, and the box, and what would that even accomplish? I mean, is he, like, somehow trying to get U Utena to kill Anthe herself, which obviously isn't going to happen uh, I'm just really curious, like, what his go his uh, his game was, what the gambit was when he tried to recruit Utena directly. It is interesting, though. I suppose if he succeeded in recruiting Utena, at the very least, they would control the Rose Bride through Utena. So, that would be something, but I don't fully know what the game is here. And I'm very curious to find out. So uh, let's not waste any more time and let's jump in to episode 23 of Revolutionary Girl Utena. All right, let's jump into episode 23 of Utena in three, two, one, and play. <laughs> I suppose the revolution, the faded revolution is coming. I do love this opening. It's definitely, I think, one of my favorite openings in anime. Like, I just love this song so much. Yuki. Here we go. Not starting with a title card either. No rose. Yeah, Mamiya. Kurobara, Saigo no Ipponi na chata. Yeah. Tokiko, Kimi no Toto wa Tsumi Bukai ko da yo. Dakedo, Hyakunin no Duelist no Shonen no Gise no Ue ni Honto no Eeen wa aru da yo. Honto na no? Anata ga yatta no? Mm. 
天井打ってなあ、うん、彼女には未知数の強さを感じる。ああ、ね、見て、黒バラ最後の一本になっちゃった。どうしてもできない。必ず勝てるというシーン。He just, he knows he's gonna fail. 仲間にするしかないか。Oh, that's so cool. I like that he's just reading it. 仲間にするそう。And they both have the same idea. The engaged, nice. That's quite responsible of you, honestly. Oh, oh God, fucking hell. Yeah. Colleagues? Oh, yeah, that too. Qualifications of a duelist. What an interesting title. Huh. So it's a double recruiting session here? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? やっぱりこの間起こったのがまずかったのかなまったくバラの花嫁なんてやってる友達持つと気ごろが絶えないよないい香りですねあれ三影先輩たった一輪のささやかな香りもあるけどたくさんのバラの花つかぐわしさも捨てがたい互いに競い合う緊張感がある<笑>姫宮はどこかで見かけませんでした<笑>さあ誰ですかクラスメートなんですけど朝から行方不明なんですよ君はとても友達思いですねそんなことないですけどこの前の話、真剣に考えてくれましたこの前の話って見かけゼミに入るって話ですよ。いや、でもなんで僕なんか ?Interesting, yeah. 正直、僕はあなたに惹かれています。できればそばにいてほしい。Damn, hitting her with that. I think that's gonna push her away, if anything. I mean, it is very bold. He is a little desperate, to be honest. それに、もし僕らの仲間になれば何か困った時力になりますよ、うん、遊びに行くのは構わないけれどうんと別に僕は困ってることなんて何もないし、yeah. Yeah. 力になってもらわなくても大体遊びに行くにしてもチュチュなんて連れて行った日にはあちこちにクッキーのクズマンが、oh、大変で大変で,大変であれあなた自身でなくてもいいんです身近に誰か困っている友達はいませんか、huh. yeah. 困ってる友達困ってる友達。ねえ。Bro, let's make Choo Choo the duelist. Let's go. Choo Choo with Utena's skills. お願い開けないで。Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going back to this flashback now. 生きてるなんて何か気持ち悪いよね。どうせ死んじゃうのに。You needed the power to revolutionize the world. It's interesting. Aww. My hands on yours. That's so cute. Static TV, huh? Oh, she actually asleep. Are we really getting on the versus Utena? Mosh, mosh! Bro's literally slamming fucking raw pasta. Thank you. 
でももういいのあなたの束縛なしで自由に髪も伸ばせるしあなたから見たら私はどんな風に見えていたのかしら君は君だろうあなたは確かに何かと<笑>選ばれた人かもしれない<笑>私が好きになったのはあなたみたいな年下の坊やじゃなかった僕は僕だよ<笑>じゃあさよなら Yeah, something tells me I doubt he's actually younger than you, girl. Yeah. What? 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 Bro. Top left. I swear that picture is, um. Why are these real pictures, for one? I swear I've seen that picture top left. I swear that's like a mangaka. It might even be. No. No, I think Ikuhara is too suave for that. I swear I've seen this picture top left before, though. The fuck? Why? Why are you? Why are there just a bunch of fucking real pictures? Yeah, because it like transitions, right? It shows those, but then she's always stretching her legs. Always trying to stay limber. I can respect it. Hmm. Oda. Wakaba, your last opponent? The hundred boys. They're looking back at you. Fucking over here, fucking Ava style. Anyways! これでネムロ教授の役目は終わる。これからは彼抜きで進めた方が、あの方の意思に沿っているだろう。No, no, it's actually completely the opposite. He will carry on without you. みんなあなたを恐れてるんだ。英語手にするんじゃないかと思ってる僕は決闘なんてしないよなぜあなたは世界を革命する力をその手にしたいと思わないのあの城には永遠があるのうん永遠っていつまでも続くってことでしょう何年も何十年も何百年も何千年も何万
どんなことがあっても我慢するから。Yeah, I love the s I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I think you're gonna overcome everything, Utsuna, but again, let's not forget the end of Last Ark. Just saying. Like,、uh, you know, I'm not gonna let that slide. You're definitely way better than this asshole, but that doesn't mean you're not. Yeah. Monster would be a little strong, I suppose. Yeah, that's exactly what she's screaming. Driven her to be who she wants to be. Yeah, those are all beautiful memories are allowed to wish. Oh shit. 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 <laughs> That's only the set. It's interesting how, once again, we're at the end of an arc, and it's the、uh, once again we have it's flipped. We have the challenge, and now he's going to do it to himself. ほら見ろよ涙だ涙プーフ・ディ・ユー・ヒューマンまず涙が出たらしいもし彼女が僕のバラの刻印を見つけなかったら僕はあの場で殺されていたんじゃないかだわるべんヒステリカルホーリーファ
like at least someone who isn't literally Utsuna. Also, this song is is is, is really hot. Okay, we we literally we actually skipped her going up there too, which is really interesting. I think that's the first time we've ever skipped Utsuna actually doing the. Mm -hmm. That that that's super obvious what that means given this arc. Anthropocentric. Interesting. Interesting. Damn, she is upset. And honestly, if there's any chance that he has, it's because of how angry she is. Also, the the reference to teaching, of course, because he was a teacher. I have to feel like the truth here is somewhere in the middle between how Mikage and Utsuna see it, to be perfectly honest. Yep. Yep. He's not wrong! Damn, he is going at her. Yeah, you guys are both getting cucked by the same person, too. Oh, this is so weird. Oh shit, we got one of those! We haven't had one of those in a while! Yeah, he has been, you know, preparing for this, but... Okay, uh... Um... Is Mamiya... Has Mamiya not been there? Has Mamiya not been real this whole time? Yep. Yep. She's getting her power up, both the on the power up and the uh. Hmm. Ah, yep. You were the one. Yeah, you were the one that set it on fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Since you actually remembered what he looked like. Decades, okay, yep. That's so cool! And a phone call for Akio, right on time. That was so cool! Oh my god. Interesting that his... ...memory of Mamiya... Hmm. Yep. Hmm.君が自分の時間を止めてまで大切にしていた思い出の息。ああ、つまりでね。シュー。オーガッ、ディスミュージック。君が可能性を秘めたまま大人になりきれずにいた時間は役に立ったよ。I Interesting, it turned into Yeah. Yeah. Ah. 
Kushiro Memorial Hall, no. Nobody can remember the name. Cause he... It's just like what happens with the other Roses. Huh. Yep. And now he's smaller too, Mamiya. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? So... I don't even know. I... Because even if on the, I mean, even if she is a representation of eternity, because that would apply with the line that you're not, you know, really here either type thing. I still don't know what that actually means in the context of the story. What the fuck? Kiss and love and true your heart. I'm really suspicious about this EV, these EV visuals now, though. Hmm. Huh. What a interesting turn of events that was. Um... So not only did we beat Mikage, but he's just out of the story. Like, Mikage, Mamiya, like, we wrapped up their story just in this episode. So it's back to whatever the end of the world constitutes, which, again, it could just be fucking Akio for all we know. But you have the end of the world, you have Akio, and you have the student council. And, like, Utena. And that's pretty much everything, unless we add more... Unless another faction comes into play. Because the uh, the Makage seminar, the Circle of the Black Rose, was introduced and dissolved, essentially. Like, they're no longer a factor moving forward. So, that's really interesting. And this, in general, was a really interesting arc. And I think it was... I li What I liked about the Black Rose stuff was... It feels like they did two things really well. It felt like a logical continuation of the previous arc where we didn't stray too far away from what we were already doing while also escalating through like added lever layers of um, self-reflection and, you know, kind of like mind fuckery and that whole shebang. So we managed to still be Utena while elevating the... Um, psychological elements of the series and that makes me really curious about where we go from here now now that we're past the black rose stuff what comes next because we managed to keep the show fairly similar in the first two arcs like the, the formula wasn't that much different they obviously made it, there obviously were differences but we we really what really changed in the second arc is is the added layers of psychological bullshit um, that you know kind of gave it more of those those um, you know really fucked up vibes like I said the Evangelion esque uh, nature of it in some ways uh, so I'm curious now moving past the second arc. Does that formula still manage to permeate into the story, or are we just completely, like, fucked? Is this just completely who-the-fuck-knows-where-we-go-from-here territory? Which is what I think it is. Like, I don't... I'm not saying there won't be any more duels, but I think we're past the duels, for the most part. Like, I, I think this is gonna go some wild direction into something completely different now, because I think now we gotta be getting close to our actual... You know, the power of Dios revolutionizing the world. I think all of that's going to start coming up rather soon. And whatever all of that means, that's when we start to enter Utena's endgame. And then, 
fuck if I know what the fuck's gonna happen, but I'm here for it, and I'm really looking forward to it, and yeah, I mean, I just can't wait to see what they actually do with all of this, and I think it's gonna be a super interesting ride, a super interesting watch, and I'm, I'm fucking thrilled, like, how could you not be excited for a revolutionary girl Utena at this point, like, it, it, honestly, like, and I always talk about it with, like, Ava's a show that I understand why a lot of people don't like. Weirdly enough, despite the fact that this show is probably one of the most Ava-esque shows I've ever watched, like, it's probably, honestly, on the channel, it might be the closest thing in terms of just, like, those type of, like, themes and then, like, the, 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 the mind fuck shit and the psychological nonsense, like, all of that, right? Like, I think Utena might have the strongest resonance to something like Ava. But the thing is, is that I feel like this is actually easier to enjoy. Um, I, I feel like this show, despite being really fucking deep and really like, like, like what the fuck is going on? I feel like it's actually really, it's more user friendly, I guess. Like, I feel like it's still not hard to really enjoy the series and enjoy what's going on, even though it's a crazy mind fuck. Um, it's really interesting. I, I really like Utena, and I think it's a, it's a great fucking time, and I'm really excited to continue on uh, because I feel like this is going to be the make or break. Like, obviously, no matter what, I love Utena, right? But I feel like from here on, we're going to really find out just how good this show is because I feel like now it's really a... How does this show escalate? I mean, we already saw escalation between the first arc and the second arc. And really, really from the, the beginning to the end of the first arc, really from the end of the first arc on has had that escalation into kind of a deeper thing. But obviously, we're obviously going to get Toga back in the story very soon. I, In fact, I, I'm kind of expecting next set. And... You know, we're going to dive deeper into what the fuck's up with Akio and, and his relationship with Auntie and, and what he's trying to do and, and all of that. Because he does seem to kind of be the mastermind of this story at this point, unless unless something else comes up that we're not familiar with yet. But it is really interesting. And the pieces are there for a crazy, I don't want to say second half because we're a little past halfway now. Because we, you know, 39 episodes and we've watched 23. So we, we have a bit more than, a bit more than halfway through Utena. But I feel like this is really where everything has to escalate into whatever crazy shit this has all been about all along. And I am excited and terrified and thrilled and horrified and, you know, all the, all the different ways to describe my, uh, all the different adjectives to describe my, um, my, uh, excitement and my horror. My, uh, I, because I definitely am feeling both, and the fact that I'm feeling both means that I'm really excited for this show, because I like it when I'm afraid of a show. If I'm afraid of a show, then they're doing, they're probably doing something right, and, uh, I can definitely say I'm afraid of this show. So, uh, we'll have to see where it goes, but Utena is gonna get fucking insane, and, uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be fantastic, so. I really liked, um, Mikage's character, right? Like, he was really cool, and then we kind of got, in the last, uh, couple episodes of the arc, we kind of got to really flesh him out and see what he's all about, and I thought that was really cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what comes next. I'm really excited and really curious. And I guess my other question, which we'll find out in the next set, is, let's, I'm curious if, is episode 24 going to be a recap episode? Because if it is, then we might actually get a lot of fucking teases, uh, for answers, ironically enough, given all the teases we got in the first recap episode after the student council saga, so... It would be interesting. I don't know if I'm really expecting it or not, but I guess there is precedent. So there's a decent chance, probably at least a 50-50 chance actually thinking about it. The next episode might be a recap because I know at least with the first arc, my sets were structured to where I would start the next episode with the recap um, as opposed to finishing the set 
uh, or start the next set as opposed to finishing the previous one. Um, I think to kind of keep the dramatic conclusion, like the proper conclusion of the arc and stuff. I agree with it, by the way. I think absolutely that is the way to go. But, um, wait, no. No, never mind. No, I take that back. No, I actually did finish on the recap, didn't I? The recap was 13, right? Oh my god, I... I Yeah, the recap was 13. Never mind. There's probably not going to be a recap. I don't know. Maybe he's just fucking with me. But uh, regardless, I did really enjoy that episode. I did really enjoy this set. I thought, um, especially the final two episodes that I just watched this morning, because obviously I watched um, episode uh, 21 um, last night, because, you know, the headache and whatever, I ended up going to sleep, whatever. But um I really liked this, these uh, two episodes about, uh, you know, Mamiya and uh, Mikage and all of that. And I thought, like, the confrontation between Utna and uh, Mikage was great, where they were, you know, in front of the pictures and there was kind of that struggle. And you really got to see Tenjo's fire and the fact that she just doesn't take other people's bullshit. Um, and really, like I said, the only exception was after she lost Anthi. Right? But it's like, it goes back to the whole thing of like, what are you fighting for? Right? And she lost the thing that she was fighting for deep down, right? To protect the princess, right? So it, it, she kind of lost herself in that moment. But it, with the exception of that moment, she's always never taken anyone's shit. And that's one of the reasons why she's been so successful as the, uh, the duelist. And, um, you know, the, the engaged, sorry, that's the terminology they use, the engaged. That's what um, uh, Nanami said in this set. So really good stuff. And I, it's still possible that, uh, you know, we'll have to see if Nanami and Mickey and Jury can convince uh, Utena to join the student council. I, I don't know if they care anymore now that the Black Rose is like gone, but it would be interesting if she did nonetheless. I'm assuming that's probably going to be scrapped, though, given what happened in episode 23, but we'll have to see. Nevertheless, I had a lot of fun. I hope you all had a lot of fun. I hope you all are excited for what comes next, because we're getting deep into Utena now, and I, I'm i scared. So, uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, Patreon down below, Discord down below, get in touch with me, DM me on Discord, you know the drill. Anyways, without any further ado, it is time for me to bid you adieu. The Flamin' Shark signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.